Hi, I'm Mikhail from Cool Tulin, and I'm going to show you how to do the cat's cradle. Make your loom, your loom tool, and three different color bands. Sorry. Okay, <clears throat> you're going to want your loom in this staggered position. So just like this. You're going to take your first color, which is going to be a purple, a pink, sorry, and you're going to go from here down, and then from here down, so like that. And then you're going to go up on this side, and up like that. And then you're just going to keep on doing that all the way up. Now, my secret how to get it down so fast, I, every time I put one on this side, I put it on the other side, too. So, we, sorry. Now, this bracelet is a very easy bracelet. So, I am almost done. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you're going to stop right at here on both of the sides. No, yeah, sorry. Now that we're, now that I'm there already, I'm going to show you. So, you see? I'm going to take it from here, and so you're going to close those things, those, that circle off, just like that. So this is what it should look like. So. Okay, now you're going to take your loom. I like to use another loom because it's skinnier. So you're going to take it. And you're going to go like that and push down all your bands until you reach the top. Now when you reach the top, you're to put that one down, you're going to go the opposite way and push for these. And now you have finished putting those, that one on. Okay. Now... I'm going to still have your loom, and my next color is going to be a darker color, so you can see it. It's going to be a dark green. You're going to take it from the left peg and stretch it all, oops, all the way up there. And then you're going to do that again. You're always wanting to start from this left side and go up. You never want to start in the beginning or it will it will be wrong and it won't work. Alright. Now, you can fast forward this because I would fast forward because it takes a longer time. I will be coming out, actually my sister will, um, she will be coming out how to do the big, um, breast cancer ribbon, so stay tuned in for that too. Okay, now that I am almost done, you are going to stop at the top and you're not going to go so this is what it should look like
There you go. Now you're going to need to put a cap band on that peg. So I'm going to use a, a green. You're going to take two fingers and do that. And there you go. Now to loop. You're going to sorry, take your loom, go in on the cap, pull, hold that cap band back on the, the top one. Sorry, on the that top one, and it should go to the left. And then you're going to go back into that cap band, grab that last one, and right there. So, you do not want to grab these green bands, then it will be ruined and you have to start over and that's a pain in the butt. So, you want to go down and grab those bottom bands on all of them. So, see, you want to grab those pink or whatever color you bands you have still. Skip, pause here until you finish, or skip it to the, um, skip till I tell you how to do the next part. And pause it there. Now that I'm at the top, you're going to take this this band and you're going to just loop it here. And there you have it. Now you're just going to go back and do the other side. And remember, do not take that with green ones or it will be ruined and you have no way of fixing it. So. And the rubber bands I am using are rainbow loom colors. I am using the rainbow loom. And I am finished with looping. So then again, you're going to take this and you're just going to loop it forward. And there we go. Now, let me show you this from the side. You're going to take all these and push them forward. Then stick your loom in and out to put that last, your next band on. I'm going to use a metallic. You're going to put it on the hook and you're just going to pull this forward and then make that. So all the bands are on that. And then you are ready to take it off. Now don't pull too hard or um, the rubber bands will break. I haven't had it happen to me once but it will. Now this is my best one I've made so it should look like that. Now time for the Extension. I'll show you how to make one if you guys don't know how to. You're going to take the colors and you're going to go up on the left side of your loom and go up. So that's all you do. Um, a dot would take six to eight and a kid would take three to four. Three to five, sorry. And, um, and if you want it to be bigger, make it bigger. But I'm I like to do it to here. I don't know why I just say like to. So and I am finished. So once you're done, you take your 
string and you hook it to that last band. So you put in your fingers. So you put in your fingers like that. And then you put it over that last band. And then you sorry, it just came off. And then it's just hanging there like that. So now you're gonna take your loom and you're just going to loop them up. So you're gonna want to pull it back and then you're gonna to wanna to go so we're gonna pull it back a little, go in and Go in, pull it up. See? And you go in again and pull it up. And you just keep on doing that all the way up until you reach the very end of your loom. Now, if that happens to this. Just pull it back over. Nothing bad happened. It just fell off. Okay. Now that you are finished, at the very top, you're going to take this and you're going to stretch it out to there. And you're going to take your C clip, S clip, whatever clip you have, and hook it so it's just hanging. And then you pull it off. And there. Then you take that last band that you have. You put it on both two fingers like that. Like that. And you hook the other end of your, of your C clip to the other end. And that's it. Bye.